I always know when Mary's not breathing well because her legs get restless and she's not breathing well. Don't you think we're better together? Oh, I think we are. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. It's like 50 some degrees here today. Mary's sleeping. I'm gonna run out and take care of a couple errands. Uh, we ordered groceries that I'm gonna pick up and I'm gonna stop and uh, sit at a coffee shop for a little bit and get some work done. So, welcome to our day. I am home and uh, Mary has been doing her morning treatments and stuff and not feeling so great. Let's go see her. Good morning, Ollie boy. Good morning, Mary girl. Hello. How you doing? Uh, Just kind of a... Them pills. Them pills. Her antibiotics making her nauseous. <sighs> I'm feeling less nauseous now than I was like an hour ago. But... Yeah. All right, I'm going to make some focaccia bread. Do 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 do. Okay, sizzle sizzle fry fry, and say hello to Mrs. Fry. Ta da! Hi, bub. Hi. How you doing? I'm okay now. You were rose. Yeah. Took a little nap. Did you fall asleep no. or did you just lay in bed? Yeah. yeah. I just, taking a nap almost never makes it better. Yeah. But I felt like I could have fallen asleep. It's just that when I wake up from a nap, it's going to so much violent coughing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you. um, yeah, but I feel better. I'm not nauseous anymore. That's and, good. Oh, but man, these antibiotics, oral antibiotics, like, pill, not IV, typically don't mess my stomach up, but these are. Mm. Oh my goodness. So fancy. This looks so good. Okay, just heat up the ricotta, the onions, the mushrooms are done. Now should I toast this a little bit before I put it on? Um, do we have the broiler on? Yeah. Stick yeah, we could stick it in there for a second. Okay. <gasps> That'll broil right up. Wait, have I told them about the foods I cannot eat? I don't think so. I've never been on a medication that has prevented or limited, limited the things I can eat. Um, <clears throat> I have to keep an eye on that bread. But this one antibiotic that I was put on that I've never been on before has quite a few things that you can't eat. Not a big deal, I just have to remember and keep it in mind. So they, the foods are r seemingly really random. Um, pepperonis, salami. Any cured meats. Any aged anything, so sauerkraut, cheese. But you can have ricotta because it's not aged. Yeah, right? there are, my, when my doctors were talking about it, they were like, you can have Velveeta, <laughs> which is like a cheese product, so it's not aged. Um, but I, he sent me a whole list of foods. Oh, there we go. I think it's good. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. Ah! That was a close one. Okay. So, some ricotta. So, typically, if we were making this, although we've never made it before, but... It's kind of like the breakfast thing I made the other day, though. Yeah. In my mind, we would layer it with some good cheddar cheese and then broil it and the cheddar would kind of melt into it but since I can't have cheddar ricotta works too onions mushrooms the year of the mushroom 2018 and then we're gonna put real thin tomatoes on top good yes perfect All right. look at this Masterpiece. Yeah, it is. You belong in a magazine. The Fry Life magazine. Get it today. 
Link in the description. The fry life. He's so cute. Watching some Olympics, eating some dinner. Guys, this is really funny. So, we got this in the mail today, which was something. Well, first of all, we are pulling out our diplomas and we're going to put them up over our desk here. And, well, I think we're going to put them on this wall. And Mary and I have matching diplomas from our undergrad because we went to the same college. And so um, we have um, one frame that's like a branded, this is Moody Bible Institute. Um, and so we wanted to get a second one and have a match up there. So we ordered it. And when I ordered it, I ordered, like obviously I wanted them to match, but I ordered the wrong mat in it. And the other one is black and gold, and this one was navy and gold. So I called the company, and they're like, no problem, we'll send you a black one. So they sent a black one, which was really, really nice, because I was like, it was pretty expensive to order a diploma frame, and I was really bummed. I was like, how could I pick the wrong one? And so we're going to put our diplomas up and have matching frames. You looked at me. <laughs> We've been watching Olympics, and it's been yes. fun. Your cheeks are pink. Kind of a reflection of how she's feeling. What do you think? I always know when Mary's not breathing well, because her legs get restless, and she's not breathing well. Yeah. And um, all night long, we've been sitting on the couch, and her legs haven't stopped moving. And, and I, it's like involuntary. It's involuntary. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I, yeah, like my body's like, hey. <laughs> In other news, I got some new pillow covers at Ikea the other day for three bucks. Yeah. Three dollars. They were on clearance. Um, Look at my little, like, setup I have. I've got my Dexcom clipped to the top of my feeding tube bag, and my feeding tube did not even beep one time last night. Wow, success. We slept. What in the world? <laughs> what is happening? I think either whatever was causing the pain in my feeding tube or the new feeding tube, either way, it has re resolved and the pain is a lot better. Like in the last couple days, I don't think I've felt like any pain. That's good. Yeah, it's so, so good. Bad. In other news, I am going to take up the sport of skeleton because that looks so fun. I did not know about that sport. I didn't either. I I mean, I'd seen the, what is it, the luge? Yeah, feet first. But the head first on the little sled, like that was crazy. It and, looks uh, cool. Yeah, it was, it was cool to watch. The one that I learned about was snowboard race yeah what they call it cross i think so cross like uh, motocross but snowboard cross and there were like six people snowboarding racing and it was really cool looking Let, let's face it you like <coughs> the sports where people fall and like things happen i like the sports where it's it's like variables yes variables and mary likes the ex excitement adrenaline and, and <laughs> adrenaline you are such an adrenaline junkie you know what time it is it's Cumbler time! The time of the week where Mary fills her pills into this imaginary word that we call cumblers. Imaginary is not the right word. Made up word. Which it's actually not. It's not a made up word. It means it's, to fill. Oh yeah, in French, right? Yeah. Oops. But, but you didn't know I that did not when know that. you called these cumblers. It was original it's original um i th i find it like gratifying to watch you do that when i'm doing this i'm like subconsciously counting which you would think is useless but it actually has helped me multiple times because 
if I count and I'm like... And you get to a number that's above what it's supposed to be, you're like, I messed up somewhere. You know you like messed one, missed one or whatever. The most satisfying thing is when I pour out, like, okay, so like I'll pour them out into my hand and then I will drop them in and if I had the exact number, exact number that I needed, mm. oh, so satisfying. So satisfying. Oh... Oh, she did it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the new Olympic sport, combling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how did that happen? I don't know. You were just describing it. You guys watched that happen. Oh. This is history in the making. Oh. oh. Honey, I think... <sighs> I just did it again. I did it on this handful and this handful. I think you're a professional combler. Combler? Combler. Well, guys, what what uh, mundane task of yours do you like? What do you do to make mundane tasks like filling up your combler or something <gasps> else? Like, do you make little goals like with mundane tasks that you have to do? Leave it in the comments if you. I don't know what what else you do. My like ultimate. Mm -hmm. Well, the ultimate is pouring out the right number. Yeah. But second ultimate, so silver medal would be <laughs> when I empty a bottle. Mm. That's satisfying. Very gratifying. We actually already ended the vlog, um, but Peter just went to wash his feet and get ready for bed. And I just wanted to say that t tonight, um, as we were sitting on the couch, just like watching the Olympics together, um, <clears throat> Peter said, I don't, he, he was basically asking me, like, how can I support you best? Because he knew that I wasn't feeling well. And I could tell that it was, it was, like, hard for him to see me not doing well. And that was hard for me. Like, I don't want him to be sad. I'm fine. Um, but what was so, um, meaningful is that his heart is to, to serve and support, and the truth is, and what I told him is, you are supporting me well. There's nothing you can do better, like, just sitting here with me is amazing, and <clears throat> I guess I was just, like, feeling sad earlier because he made that amazing dinner and we sat down and my stomach was just bothering me a ton and I was not hungry. I was able to eat some and it did taste amazing. But um, the reality of life is we do our best to support each other with whatever life is throwing at us. But um, sometimes it's hard to know how to best support each other in whatever it is in life. Um, but I'm just, really really thankful to have to be able to go through life as a team and I know that you know my sorrows are his sorrows and his sorrows are my sorrows and and we also share joys and victories so it's good it's just part of life um, but when Peter's editing this I want him to know thank you for supporting me and you are doing an amazing job I do feel your support, and I love you. We're going to say, as, as always, always, we will, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. And here's the book.